In lesson one, we are going to look at revenue management history. Who invented revenue management systems? What problem was it intending to solve? How and when was it first applied to hospitality? What are the revenue management levers and processes? This lesson will help you understand the evolution of revenue management over the years. Now, the earliest history of revenue management principles involved the airline industry. In the early 1970s, some airlines had already started using basic mathematics to rationalise their pricing. Ken Littlewood of British Overseas Airways Company, now known as British Airways, came up with a formula to evaluate the performance of special rates versus regular rates on revenue forecasting. The 1978 Airline Deregulation Act caused an unprecedented competitive environment in the airline industry. Before this act was enforced, airfares were controlled, which led to less competition and less complex pricing structures. This act was therefore the driving force behind the birth of yield management practices. Yield management in the airline industry refers to the maximisation of revenue and specifically profit by selling different seats at different prices or different promotions. American Airlines was the main airline that invested in technological approaches to managing yield. The airline implemented a company-wide system which came to be known as yield management. The objective was to maximise profit by increasing revenue through inventory control and related data analytics. American invested heavily in technology to primarily develop forecasting, inventory control and overbooking capabilities in order to support yield management processes. In 1985, American Airlines launched a non-refundable advance purchase rate, valid for trips involving a Saturday night stayover and subject to controlled capacity the ultimate super saver. This led to an increase in sales and revenue analysts across the industry used the American yield management system to sell empty seats by repositioning and restructuring discounts whenever needed. Over the next years, American Airlines profits were up 48%. In essence, American Airlines had created a system to forecast demand and anticipate empty seats by analyzing data. The system would then test the optimum rate positioning of offers so it would create incremental revenue. The optimization is dynamic as it was re-evaluated as regularly as possible. These offers would be fenced in terms restricted, so it would only target a specific segment, passengers sharing a similar behavior, in this case, people traveling on a need period of flights to avoid dilution of revenue. As a result, Yield management maximised revenue per available seat.